Hi folks, I've had some requests to do a quick video just showing people how to uh, use WordPress, how to make a post, uh, a few other things. So I thought I would just quickly do that. This will be a quick video. I'm not going to have questions in here, but if you do have questions, of course, you could email or come by the office or whatever. Now, so I'm logged in here to the one I created for the English department. And just before I get in and start editing things, I'll draw your attention to a few things. Uh, one is that we have the uh, the share buttons here so you could share it on Facebook, Twitter, uh, whatever you want. I'll show you how to set that up. Uh, we have a post here with a picture and then a little caption. I'll show you how to do that. We have this post with the links. I'll show you how to put the links in. And then if I scroll to the bottom, we have a category called Faculty Spotlight and a tag as well. So if I click the Faculty Spotlight, I can see all the blog posts that fit that category. It's a way of organizing the content. And if I click on one of these tags, it'll just show me the, the posts that have something to do with that uh, tag. So think about a category as something you want to have a bunch of stuff in, and then the tags would be just like smaller categories. Uh, you know, you might have a, a blog post that fits in several different, uh, or you might want to classify in lots of different ways, not mutually exclusive, so that's where the tags come in. Now, if we get into one of these posts, uh, let's get into the, uh, let's see which one. Uh, there's a longer one here. Yeah. Uh, so this is one that Kayla Justice, one of our MA students, had posted. So here we, this is the only thing I want to show you about her post, is that there's a, instead of having the whole post just in one big blog, uh, we have a little teaser text, this bit, and then it says uh, to continue reading. So I'll show you how to set that up as well. And so those are the things. So let's go into the uh, new post. And uh, a lot of this is self-explanatory. You know, that's where you put the title. Uh, and here's where you put your body text. Now, one thing I do want to show you here, a couple things actually. Let me grab a little bit of text here to play around with, come back. Uh, okay, so this, let's say this was where we wanted to have that continue button or the read more button. So you just put that, you line up your cursor where you want that bar and then you click on this button here that says insert read more tag. Uh, so I don't know, it looks weird right now for some reason, but that's the way you do that. I'm, just gonna, I'm not actually going to post this thing, but uh, on yours, hopefully that will look normal. I don't know what's going on with my computer. Uh, another thing that's nice to know about is the uh, subheadings. So if you want to have a subheading, you highlight it and click up here, and you've got heading one, heading two, heading three, all the way down to heading six. So again, this is a very useful way to organize things. Later on, if you wanted to change the look of all your subheadings, you could do that with one click, as long as you're using this. Uh, as opposed to doing it all manually. Uh, another thing, while I'm here, remember I was talking a little bit last time about the HTML. Uh, the way you do that is on this button here called Text. It's over in the top right corner. And now I'm in HTML, mo HTML mode. So this will give me some options. I can either manually input the tags. Uh, I think I could still do it this way. So you could highlight it. and It'll put the tags in for you. But you see here, there's a bracket strong, mind, close bracket strong. If I click back on visual, though, it just looks like it's bold. So this is what they call the WYSIWYG editor. The what you see is what you get. Over on the text tab, though, I'm looking at the actual uh, know, HTML tags. Now, you probably won't use this, but again, sometimes you get some weird stuff. There's some spacing issues. There's some stuff that's bolded. You can't get it unbolded. You know, just, just some kind of error. And so if you remember to click on the text, you can often find a little tag all by itself. You know, maybe there's some something like this just kind of hanging out. And you see that doesn't seem like it actually did anything there. Oh, it automatically closed it for me. Let's <laughs> see if we can force it to. <laughs> uh, so it's, it's automatically closing and it won't let me make that mistake. Uh, but still, sometimes it will happen. Just a whole bunch of stuff will be bolded. You don't want bolded. You can't fix it any other way. So if you come back here, you can find it and fix it. The uh, other stuff here, ordered list, bulleted list. Uh, this is for block quotes. 
can click on that and tab it over however you like. Uh, the links, it's just sort of chain. Just copy paste the link in there. The way pictures work, you click on add media, and if the if you already have the picture uploaded, it will show up here. Uh, otherwise, you click on upload files and put it on your server. Let's grab uh, let's grab this Kindle. Uh, the alt text is the text that will be read if somebody's using a screen reader. So somebody that can't see the pictures, often they just they need to hear a description of what what's in that picture. So that's what the alt text is for. Title, caption, all that self-explanatory. If I insert this, actually before you insert it, if you just take a minute to look at some of these options below uh, the description, you can say alignment. So this is, I'll show you what this looks like. Let's just go with none for now, uh, but you could fix that there. You can also do the size. Let's just pop it in. And you'll see what happened there. Just kind of put it in the middle kind of by itself, but maybe you want to do, put it on the left and have the rest of the text. They're kind of blended in to your post. So you got lots of options to do that. There's your caption. <laughs> Everything looks good. <laughs> uh, categories. Remember I was showing you earlier like the faculty spotlight? So on yours, you might not have any categories yet. So you just click add new category and you're thinking about how you want your site to be organized. Now the, my advice is not to have too many categories. You think about three to five categories because if you have a, you also have tags and the tags are useful for, if you're only gonna have one or two things that are connected by any kind of theme, you know, that's great for a tag. You don't necessarily need to make a category for that. Uh, you could have a tag that's just one item. Uh, so, you know, some people like tags, some people like categories better. I don't know which one's better per se. Uh, I think I just tend to think the more organized a website is, uh, the better off. That you know, makes makes it easier to find content. Uh, okay, anything else on here? Uh, one thing that's cool, it does keep track of your word count for you. If you look at the lower left-hand corner. Uh, I do want to show you this too. So remember, instead of just publishing right away, you, you don't want to do that. What you want to do is save as a draft. And this will let you come back in and you can see your work again, continue to work on it. Uh, or you can uh, use some of these options. We've got status, draft. You can change this to pending review if you like depending on what kind of uh, setup you have with your group. Uh, visibility, public, you could make it private for whatever reason. Probably just leave that on public. Uh, the publish immediately, I showed you this in the instructions, but this would be useful if you want, if, if you're not gonna be around on the due date or you just wanna get it done now. Uh, you could just set this to come out on the day that it's due and write it earlier, have it ready to go, but it comes out when you want it to rather than just having to come back here log in and publish it but anyway when you when the when the time comes to actually publish it <laughs> there's a button called publish boom uh, that's how you do that okay I think that's all we need to know about this now you might be wondering how I got those uh, share buttons and this is a, a plug-in plugins are just little uh, extra features you can add to your WordPress site and I guess this is Greg Jorgensen, but he set up all kinds of them. You know, you can look, you, I don't care if you want to go crazy with all of these uh, plugins, that's fine. I don't use them all. Uh, but I do think this top one here is very useful. That's the one that I was showing you. It's called Add This Social Share. So you just click Activate. I think there might be a couple of buttons to, uh, you know, if you read the documentation, it'll tell you about how to set it up. Let's just take a quick look. Yeah, so that walks you through the steps, nice and easy with screenshots. <laughs> so, uh, what I like about this is you don't have to, uh, you know, it makes it easier for people to come read your post and then share it to your Twitter page or whatever. Let's see, we've got custom CSS. I'm not going to require that you mess with that. If you want to, you can change up little things if you want like your colors to be different. Most of that is available on the themes. Let me just take a quick look at this so I could show you this so I think the I think edu blogs is the default theme but it's sort of like with a Microsoft with a PowerPoint you know how you have all those templates uh, there's 
basically the same thing with WordPress. So there's a whole bunch of options here. And some of these look great. Some of these you might be looking at and it's not really appropriate for your purpose. But there's a whole bunch to choose from. And there's probably something here that's at least fairly close to what you want. But the cool thing is you can customize them. And this will just give us a little bit more, you know, a few more options if you want to change colors, the name, obviously, your, uh, let's just click this. So this is the site title there and the tagline, something underneath this. And the different themes, you may not even have a tagline on your theme. You know, this will depend on which theme you go with, what shows up here. But I think this is cool down here. A lot of people miss this, but if you look down at the lower left corner while you're playing around with themes, you can actually preview what it's going to look like on a phone or a tablet or a computer. So that's pretty useful. I think, again, I think most of this is just self explanatory, so I'm not going to uh, go into it. And just show you this really quick the custom CSS. And so we, this is that CSS plugin. If you want to play around with this, we just change the background color, background image to none. I think that pertains to the, yeah, I think this was on this part here where it says home. I think originally this bar was like a blue or some random color, didn't quite fit the, uh, the title image. So we just made it black using that custom CSS, but you could go crazy with that if you wanted to. So I think that's about all I have to show you here for now. Remember, you access all this just by going to the news and features or whatever your site title is. If you hover over that, there'll be an option called Dashboard. And once you open that, you'll get all these options that we've been uh, playing around with. All right. You know, there's a lot more here than you need to know <laughs> for this class. <laughs> uh, I think I've shown you all the pertinent stuff, but if you do have uh, questions, happy to answer those. If you come by the office, we can sit down, uh, figure it out. Of course, Greg Jorgensen, uh, you can email him. Uh, he, he's sort of the person who set up all these sites. You know, <laughs> again, there's so many people that know more about this than I do. You know, I can try to help you, or I can at least point you to somebody that would know the answer. But anyway, I hope this was helpful. I'm looking forward to seeing what you come up with, and see you next time.